In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate the correlation coefficient using covariance. And we'll also confirm the answer with another formula. So here's how we can calculate the coefficient, the correlation coefficient of the two variables, x and y. It's equal to the covariance of x and y divided by the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of y. Now we can calculate the covariance between these two variables using this formula. It's the sum of the products of the differences between x and the mean of x and y with the mean of y divided by n minus 1. So that's the sample covariance between x and y. Now another way in which we can calculate the correlation coefficient is using this formula. It's equal to n, the sum of the product of xy minus the sum of x times the sum of y. all divided by the square root of n sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared, which is different from the first one. And then we have an n sum of y squared minus the sum of y and then squared. All of that is in the square root symbol. So these are the two formulas we could use to calculate the correlation coefficient. We're going to do it both ways. But let's start with this equation first. So let's begin by making a table. We're going to have to calculate the covariance. So we're going to have the variables x and then y and then x minus x bar and then y minus y bar and then the product of x minus x bar and y minus y bar. So the x values that we have are 3, 4, 6, 8, and 9. For the y values, we have 4, 5, 9, 10, and 12. Now, let's go ahead and get the sum of that column. 4 and 6 is 10 plus 8, that's 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 9 is 30. 10 and 12 is 22, plus 9, that's 31. This will be 36, plus 4, that's 40. Now let's get the average x value, which is going to be the sum of all the x values divided by n. Now we already know the sum of the x values, that's 30. And we have five numbers in this data set. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. So that is the average x value. Now let's calculate the average y value. It's going to be the sum of the y values divided by n. The sum of the y values is 40. n is still 5, so we get an average of 8. So y bar is equal to 8. Now, for the third column, it's x minus x bar. So we're going to take this x value subtracted by the sample mean of 6. So 3 minus 6 is negative 3. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. 6 minus 6 is going to be 0. 8 minus 6 is positive 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. The sum of these numbers will be 0, and the same is true for the next column. Now for the fourth column, it's going to be y minus y bar. So we're going to take this y value subtracted by the sample y value, or the, the sample mean of y. So 4 minus 8 
that's negative 4. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 9 minus 8 is positive 1. 10 minus 8 is positive 2. And 12 minus 8, positive 4. Now for this section, we need to multiply x minus x bar with y minus y bar. So negative 3 times negative 4, that's going to be positive 12. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. 0 times 1 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So now we can get the sum for this column. 12 plus 12 is 24. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 24 will give us a total of 34. So now we can calculate the covariance of x and y. It's going to be the sum of x minus x bar times y minus y bar over n minus 1. Now we already have this number. That's the sum of this column, which is 34. n minus 1. That's 5 minus 1, which is 4. So we have 34 over 4. 34 divided by 2 is 17. And 17 divided by another 2 is going to be 8.5. Another way in which you could see that, you could break up 34 into 32 plus 2. So you have 32 over 4 plus 2 over 4. 32 over 4 is 8. 2 over 4 is 1 half. So you get 8.5. Just a few quick tips when dealing with mental math. So now that we have the covariance of x and y, we can now calculate the correlation coefficient. Actually, before we do that, we need to get the sample standard deviation. So here's the formula that we could use to calculate the sample standard deviation of x. So it's going to be the sum of x minus x bar squared over n minus 1, since we're dealing with the sample standard deviation. For the population standard deviation, it's simply n instead of n minus 1. Now we have x minus x bar, but before we take the sum, we need to square all of the x minus x bar values. So we have to square each individual number and then take the sum. So once we square negative 3, this will be negative 3 squared. And then the next one, negative 2 squared, and then plus 0 squared, plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So that's the sum of x minus x bar squared. And this is going to be divided by n minus 1. And all of this is inside of a square root symbol. 3 squared is 9, plus another 9, that's 18, plus 4, that's 22, plus another 4 is 26. So right now we have 26, and then 5 minus 1 is 4. And this is all within a square root symbol. 26 divided by 4 is 6.5. And the square root of 6.5 is approximately 2.5, 4.5. So that's the sample standard deviation of x. Now let's calculate the sample standard deviation of y. So it's going to be the square root of the sum of y minus y bar over n minus 1. So we're going to be using the numbers in this column. 
So we're going to have a negative 4 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared over 5 minus 1 all within a square root symbol. 4 squared is 16 plus another 16 that's 32. 2 squared is 4 so that's a total of 36 plus 1 is 37. 3 squared is 9. 37 plus 9 is 46. So this is going to be 46 over 4 all within the square root. Now 46 divided by 4 is 11.5 and the square root of 11.5 is 3.39116. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and calculate the correlation coefficient of x and y. So it's going to be the sample covariance divided by the sample standard deviation of x and y. So the covariance that we got is 8.5. Sx is 2.54951. Times the sample standard deviation of y, which is 3.39116. And you could put this all in parentheses or in brackets. So 8.5 divided by the product of those two numbers is. 0.9831. So this is the correlation coefficient. So that's how we can calculate it using the covariance formula. Now we're going to confirm this answer using the other formula that I mentioned early in this video. Now let's make a new table. So in this new table, we're going to have X, we're going to have Y, we're going to have the product of X, Y, and then we're going to have X squared, and then Y squared. So the X values are going to be the same. 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. And then we're going to have y, which is 4, 5, 9, 10, 12. So xy is going to be the product of x and y. So 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. 6 times 9 is 54, 8 times 10 is 80, and 9 times 12 is 108. Now for the fourth column, we just need to square the first column. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81. For this, we need to square the second column, so 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 9 squared is 81, 10 squared is 100, 12 squared is 144. So now we need to find the sum of each column. So for the first column, we already know this is 30. We've calculated it before. For the sum of y, we know that's going to be 40. Now for the sum of x, y, it's 12 plus 20 plus 54 plus 80 plus 108. So that is 274. 
And then for x squared, it's 9 plus 16 plus 36 plus 64 plus 81, which is 206. And for the sum of y squared, it's 16 plus 25 plus 81 plus 100 plus 144, which is 366. So now that we have everything that we need, we can now use the correlation coefficient formula, which is n times the sum of xy minus the sum of x times the sum of y. all divided by, we have n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared, and then n times the sum of y squared minus sum of y and then squared. So n we can see that there's five data points for x and y. So n is 5. Here we have the sum of x, y, which is 274. And then minus the sum of x. The sum of x is 30. Sum of y is 40. And then it's n times sum of x squared. Sum of x squared is 206 minus sum of x. Sum of x is 30, but we're going to square that. So this is 30 squared. And then it's n sum of y squared. Sum of y squared is 366 minus sum of y. Sum of y is 40, but we're going to square that. So this is 40 squared. So now let's simplify this one step at a time, just to avoid mistakes. 5 times 274, that's 1370. And 30 times 40, 3 times 4 is 12. Add the two zeros, you get 1,200. Now, 5 times 206 is 1,030. And 30 squared, 30 times 30, 3 times 3 is 9. Add the two zeros, you get 900. 5 times 366 is 1,830. And 40 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. So this is 1830 minus 1600 if we add the two zeros. So 1370 minus 1200, that's going to be 170. 1030 minus 900 is 130. 1830 minus 1600 is 230. And there's something I'm forgetting. There's supposed to be a square root symbol here. So I'm going to put that here. I forgot to add that, but that can be corrected. Now, 130 times 230 is 29,900. So it's going to be 170 divided by the square root of 29,900. And you're going to get 0 0.9831 if we run into four significant figures. So we can see that these two answers are the same. So those are the two ways in which you can calculate the correlation coefficient. You can calculate it using covariance, or you can calculate it using the other formula.